Hi everybody, I'm Fran Spielman and with me is Alderman Pat O'Connor who has a new title. <laughs> not one you wanted either. Well, not one I was looking for, that's for sure. And why not? I, um, I have a full plate being the chairman of the Workforce Development Committee. We oversee all of the collective bargaining agreements. We've done the um, earned income sick time. We've done the minimum wage. We're working on the Fair Work Week ordinance. Uh, I've, I've, I've got enough to do. And now you have, are you doing both jobs now? You are the yeah. new chairman of the City Council's Finance Committee. Why? Because Ed Burke is charged with extortion, attempted extortion. Your longtime colleague, your longtime colleague on the Verdelli Act 29, how do you feel about all this? Well, I, I think, not to correct you, but I'm the, I am the chairman now because Ed resigned as the chairman. Had he not resigned as the chairman, he'd still be the chairman until the, either he resigned or the council took action. So as, a, as, as Carrie Austin was sick when she was the chairman of budget and, and Jason Irvin came in and ran the budget committee, Ed Burke has resigned. I was the vice chairman. So it's not like this was an appointment by the mayor or something that you stand up and volunteer for. It is the natural succession of our rules in the city council. And so, so let's say you're I'm reluctant. There. You're reluctant to take it because well, it's, it's your it, friend? I'm, you know, I'm not reluctant to take it. It's the job. You know, I'm, I, when you are a vice chair, you know that the potential is always there. It's like if Miss America yeah. resigns and uh, the first runner up takes that's, 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 <laughs> that's right. And, uh, yeah, I'm Miss Guam, I'm Miss Universe or something. I, I don't know. But, but factually speaking, um, regardless of the circumstance and how I got there, I'm there now. So now we're running a committee. There's a number of things that we're trying to get done. All of the discussion about workman's comp. We've had a succession of meetings this week. Um, with the Inspector General, with the, the Law Department, with the Comptroller's Office, all geared towards trying to figure out how we do an orderly transition of what is an essential function. Police and firemen need their bills paid. People that are injured on the job need their doctor's bills paid, their reports ordered and, and paid for, their paychecks to go while they're on comp. All of that is an essential function. It can't be disrupted and, and frankly, um, it needs to be transitioned in, in a way in which it just is seamless. I'm working towards that. We'll get it done. That's the primary goal between now and the end of this, 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 this session. Uh, there'll be a number of other things that, that we'll work on. We'll work on the bonding uh, to the allow pension bonding. the pension bonding to basically allow the next mayor and the next council an opportunity to take advantage of a uh, 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 favorable bond market it is, if it exists as part of the solution to the pension crisis. So notwithstanding how I got here, I'm here, and we're just gonna try and get the job done. All right, you're here, but a lot of people don't think you should be here. They don't want you to be here. They feel like you have conflicts, like Burke had conflicts. Talk about that, the residential, uh, well, let's real estate that your wife has sold, yeah. that you pre-zoned. Okay. So here, let's talk about that, first and foremost. That was a story that is 10 years old. It was not factual at the time in terms of the way the story inferenced it. In fact, at that time, there was a young reporter for the Sun-Times who thought it was kind of a non-story, if you recall, um, because, in fact, if you read the snarky headline, it was, he zones, she sells, it's legal. That headline could have been rephrased as saying, he follows the law, she has her own employment, and everything is done legally and ethically because that is in fact what the upshot of that story was. There has never been a zoning change in our community that was done for the benefit of, of my spouse. Absolutely. So okay. let's take, and let's why take, is that let's okay? take Edgewater Hospital. Okay. Edgewater Hospital closed. There were parking lots that were, that were there. They were zoned in a B zone. 